a calendar early, the spicy girl on the start. <laughs> Balance and jumps and leaps and spins. Oh, the heck? Advantage in one quarter. Got a Tomical Senior battling it on the set. Explosion to take place at the Lucha Libre in the Park Series. Lucha Libre rules in full effect. One person from each team is allowed to compete at any one time. And the matchup begins. Leslie Lamunyeka against Viper. The doll of Lucha Libre scores with the arm drag early. We got some additional brand new stars in the Lucha Libre scene getting an opportunity to be. Exposed to live action in front of a huge crowd. And Leslie Lamonyeka has been featured at these events in the past and has done incredible things. New matchup, Furia Noturna in the black and silver versus the little clown, Payasito. Payasito! 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 How about that? Fast paced action, back and forth. But Furia Noturna does the damage with a boot. Leslie yeah. Springboard arm drag. As soon as a body leaves the ring, another can enter on behalf of the team. All right, it's the battle of Technicus and Rulas. Technicus and Rulas. Paloma Star, high cross body press to the bully of the ring, Lady Tigres. And it's Paloma Star showing her physicality early. The spicy girl, the Sriracha Muchacho with the face buster drop and almost won it for her team right there. Paloma Star, draped in red, green, and white trim. But the one in the fatigues, Lady Tigres, used her powerful and massive back elbow to do additional damage. And these two have a rivalry from the past. It's Psycho J versus Manny Cortez. Cortez, the one in the red mask with the horns on it. Look at that! From the wheelbarrow onto an arm drag. How impressive was that? Everyone traveling at 100 miles an hour here. Watch out, bodies could fly out of this ring at any moment. Nice up kick. Manny over the top, lands on his feet, how about that? Avoids the hip toss and delivers a takedown of his own Manny Cortez. How impressive was that? Got an opportunity to see Septico in the Lucha Libre in the Park Series making his debut against the Dance Machine, arguably the most experienced out of all ten in this match, Atomico Sr. And he's got hips that don't lie. He can dance, and he can move around, and he can really throw you off with his creative energy. So what will happen when Atomico Sr. takes on the smaller Septico? Septico was able to avoid the contact there. Oh. Around and a spin, and somehow muscles down Atomico Senior with the wrist lock takeover. Oh. Check this out. This Septico's amazing. Nice head scissors takeover. Oh. And Septico, oh. listen how hard these chops are. Oh. Balance oh. and jumps and leaps and spins. How the heck did Septico do that? This little guy can move. Onto the shoulders. Septico spun around. And Atomico lost his balance and left his feet. 
And now that Atomico leaves the ring, Psycho J can legally enter, and now he's going to try to take advantage of the smaller individual with some really, really tough hard nose striking. Now this is illegal by the Rudos. They're not allowed to do this. The evildoers on one side taking cheap shots on the partners, the technicals on the other side, while we have a multiple person advantage in one corner. Beauty and Nocturna kicking the back and spying a Paloma star who has been a mega star in these events in the past. The technicals trying to gang up on Cycle J. Unfortunately, the numbers are against them. Just when you thought that they had a two on one advantage, it became three, four, five against one. This match is getting out of hand. We got a Tomical Senior battling it out with Septico on the outside. While Viper and Psycho J do the damage to Manny Cortez, sending him crashing to the outside. Leslie Labudiak is in a ton of trouble. Absorbing chop at the hands of Viper. It's four on one and one in the ring. Everyone's taking their turns, abusing the dial in the corner. This isn't fair. Oh, come on. Man, this is some uh, violent act interaction we're seeing here. But when it is the heat of the battle, and it's Lucha Libre in the park, everyone wants to prove themselves. Atomico Senior still brewing it out with Septico in the park somewhere. This is getting out of hand. One member of the Technicals enters the ring legally, but still, it's Paloma versus Ford. My goodness, from any and all angles, and it's not even the Battle Royale yet. Later on today, the King of Unity Park Battle Royale for the Logan Square Chicago Heavyweight Championship. It might pale in comparison to what we're seeing here. This is insanity. Not the little clown tune. Come on. Oh, yeah. Nice counter. Payasito. Oh, no. The blind side of Payasito was invaded by a dropkick. Leslie Labudyanka, the insistent hurricane Rana. Lady Tigres falls over as well. The technicals try to fire back. The Bulldog, the clothesline. Can Paloma win it for her team? No, two count there. The match still continues. Paloma sent for the ride. Cycle chain nearly knocked her lights out. Now Manny Cortez trying desperately to fight back on behalf of his team. Arguably the most exciting frantic high flyer in the bunch. Wow, how did he flip upside down? That was incredible. Cycle Jay and Fury will take the fall to the outside. A hurricane runner for Atomical Senior. Oh, but he recovered quickly. He was not as hurt as the other members in this match. And Fury and Nocturna takes the fall to the ground below. Septic call on the top rope. Wrist lock takeover. And now the two on one attack is in progress. Septico absorbing damage at the hands of Psycho J and Furia Nocturna. One gets sent into the other. I feel like we're watching a bunch of bumper cars here as these individuals continue to clash and crash into each other multiple times from various angles. We're back to this particular matchup of a, as Octomical Senior elevates Septico along his shoulders and somehow spins him down. Septico keeping his team alive in this one. Low drop kick to the hip. Fiona and Nocturna to the outside. The bodies are accumulating on one side of the ring. Septico's gonna take a chance. Fly body attack on a three on the outside. Leslie and Manny put down. Cycle Jade Lady Tigre to the outside. Oh my! Play a Cito underestimated the attack and nearly suffered his own demise on the outside. Paloma flies and nails her intended targets on the outside as well. The technicals in multiples continue to level the Rudos. Oh my! Leslie Lombard Yanka! What a crazy suicidal body attack nearly landed on her head. Oh wow! Manny Cortez!
Cortez! Fly body attack! The splash onto several on the floor, on the ground! Yeah, we got like a 52 card pickup out here. But here's the bodies left in the ring. Cycle J against Leslie Lamunyaka, Paloma Star. Great takedowns! It's stereo! The two women on top! They did it! The technicals have won this! Ladies and gentlemen, here are your winners of the 10 person tag team, Lucha Libre match! Ayacito, Septico, Penny Cortez, Leslie Lamunyaka, and Paloma Storm! What an outstanding 10 person tag! And that definitely woke up everybody in the park in the neighborhood after that one. Flying bodies everywhere! But at the end, Paloma and Leslie, at the right moment, did the damage and won it for their team! What focus! What determination! What a scene we just witnessed in the Lucha Libre in the Park Series! Let's go! 
Take a 